Welcome to the Auslink for UPS freight activation demonstration. After installing Auslink, users wishing to activate LTL freight rating can click on the rating tab, then click on the freight services tab, and then finally click on the enable freight link. This will bring up a screen consisting of two setup steps. Step number one consists of answering two questions. Yes, I have a contract with UPS for LTL pricing, and no, I do not use Zara Light rates. I'll then click the Send Request button. This will send a message off to the UPS LTL freight team, letting them know that you wish to view your negotiated rates for LTL. We can then move immediately to step number two. We don't need to wait for a confirmation email. We recommend that you first click the Instructions link which will provide you a step-by-step -step instruction for the step number two. I'll click the Login button. This will bring up two screens, the UPS LTL Freight website and a username and password screen within Auslink. To log into the LTL website, we simply click the User ID button, right-click inside the User ID field on the website, and click Paste. We'll click the Next button. We'll then be prompted to enter the password. We'll click the Copy Password button. We'll then right-click into the Password field and click Paste. I'll now click the Login button. At this point, I'm going to close the Username and Password screen. I'll click the Continue button on the UPS website. I'll then be presented with the UPS Service Agreement screen. We'll scroll to the bottom. And we'll click the Accept button. The next screen would appear that we need to log into the LTL website again. Instead, we'll basically change nothing on the screen and just click Next. We'll then be presented with an informational screen. We'll type in our company information. Any field that has a gold diamond aside of it is a required field and must be filled in. You'll notice that the bottom three fields do not have a gold diamond, therefore can be left blank. I'll click the Finish button. We'll then receive a screen that says, thank you for registering with my LTL Freight. This completes the process for activating your freight negotiated rates. You'll need to wait 24 hours for the activation process to take effect. We'll then go back into Auslink, and we'll turn on the display buttons for the various freight services. If I have a ground with freight pricing contract, I'll also turn on the ground freight pricing display option. This completes the setup process for activating LTL rates within Auslink.